1960, the Pittsburgh Pirates were no longer the laughing stock of, of baseball. The Pittsburgh Pirates are champions of the National League. Roberto Clemente, one of the outstanding baseball players. That year, Clemente led the team in runs batted in, was second in home runs and game-winning hits, and led the league in outfield assists. By 1960, he is an all-star player in the National League. He is becoming a real threat to opponents. He might not be recognized by that by the national media, but on the baseball diamond, clearly his opponents recognize Roberto Clemente's rising star. For the first time in 33 years, the Pirates found themselves playing in the World Series. Unluckily, they had to face the New York Yankees, winner of five titles in the past decade, and a team packed with superstars, such as Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra, and Whitey Ford. The 1960 series was David and Goliath. The Yankees were the franchise of professional sport, winning more titles than any team in any sport. The Pittsburgh Pirates came into the World Series as massive underdogs. They have a very good team, but no one had really heard of the Pirates players. Helped by some timely hitting from Clemente and his outfield play, the Pirates managed to win three of the first six games, despite being outscored by the powerful Yankees 46 to 17. The seventh and deciding game would be played in Pittsburgh, where only the most diehard Bucks fans gave the home team much of a chance. In the bottom of the ninth, David and Goliath were tied nine to nine. As Pittsburgh held its collective breath, Pirate second baseman Bill Mazeroski came to the plate. Mazeroski reached home, Clemente was there, celebrating one of the greatest upsets in baseball history, proud of his contribution to the team's success. Once off the field, he expected to make a quick exit and catch a plane to Puerto Rico. But he hadn't counted on the scene outside the clubhouse. There's Clemente, someone shouted, and the crowd surged forward. It took him an hour to make his way through. After years of feeling himself an outsider, he had won them over. The fans of Pittsburgh, he said, had made it all worthwhile. Finally, back in San Juan at the airport, Clemente received a greeting befitting a returning hero. Proud Puerto Ricans had followed the series closely on the radio and in the papers. A sign in the crowd said what everyone felt about their triumphant native son. He had barely touched ground when the crowd scooped him up and carried him away. He was the hero of the island. He was like a god. The pride that Puerto Ricans felt over what he had managed to accomplish in, in baseball was uh, incredible. 